What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to another Let's Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interested me in the past week. Let's get into this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a new TV show that I binged this past week um, that I really wanted to, I guess, give you guys a heads up on. So the show is called Impulse and it's actually like a YouTube originals show. So it's not like on TV, it's a YouTube original show, which I was kind of like hesitant about when I first heard. I was like... <laughs> how good a quality is it gonna be? Like, I don't know. I think, honestly, when I think YouTube originals, I think, like, Logan Paul and Jake Paul and, like, PewDiePie's sort of shows, you know? <laughs> but Impulse, it, it genuinely feels like like a good TV show. I'm pretty sure it's Canadian. There's a lot of Canadian actors in it. Um, so yeah, it's like a genuinely good show. Now it did come out, I think it was like June or July last year. So I'm kind of late to the boat. So apologies if you guys have already seen it. Um, but I am talking about season one. I think there's a season two coming. I'm not sure when, but yeah, I only just found it this past week. So I did want to give you guys a heads up in case you guys hadn't heard of it like me because I literally have not seen it anywhere. Now, I do have to give a warning. I mean, they have warnings at the start of every episode on Impulse, but it is a very intense show to watch and it deals a lot with uh, sexual assaults and rape and stuff like that. So if that is not something that you're comfortable watching, I would most likely, you know, very consider watching, you know, very much consider whether it's something you want to watch or not. Um, yeah, or maybe just give it a pass. It's, it's very, very intense to watch. But the show is about this girl, um, that has, uh, powers. She can, like, teleport places and it's about her discovering that. And then there's also these outside elements, pot potentially, like, you know, a bigger company slash entity trying to find these people that can teleport. Um... But yeah, it's mostly based around this girl finding out her powers in this like small town and just <sighs> shit hitting the fan. <laughs> now she, um, she obviously, she's got a mum, um, and her mum has recently married this guy, I believe in like the last six months and they've moved in with him and his daughter and his daughter is about the same age as like the main chick. Um, so the main girl's name is, her name is Henry and the, um, her stepsister, her name is Jenna. Look, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of ship the two. <laughs> and it's not totally weird. I just hate like that they're like technically stepsisters. Like there's sister in their like relationship, I guess. But like I said, they're not blood related in any way. They met like six months ago. So it's not like they grew up as sisters. Um, so I feel a little better knowing those things. <laughs> but Jenna does in fact have a, I guess like light queer story throughout the first season. It's not really talked about too much. They don't really go into too much depth with it. Um, but there are definitely like hints towards it. And I mean, it's not just like subtext. It's definitely a queer storyline, but they really just don't spend too much time on, on the first season. I am really hoping they they spend more time with it in season two, because I love Jenna. Like, by the end of season one, I'm just like, oh, you poor baby gay, I love you so much. <laughs> she fully, she fully has a crush on, I guess, like, a childhood friend. Um, he's older sister. So she's got a crush on like a friend's older sister who is actually gay in the series um, and is played by, I don't know like the actress's name, but she played, <laughs> it was either Alex or Paige from Degrassi. Like one of my OG like ships that I secretly tried to watch on YouTube when I was like in the closet. Oh yeah. So she plays the sister who Jenna totally has a crush on. Like, let's be honest. She... It's crushing hard. <laughs> but yeah, if it's something that you think you can, you you can and would like to watch, um, it's just a really well done show. Um, and I would highly recommend it. Next thing that I want to talk about is, uh, I believe sort of like at the end of last year, sort of going into December, there was definitely like a lot of talk. I mean, each year I feel like there's more and more talk about like the want and need for a like lesbian holiday rom-com because there's just so many like straight rom-coms out there. It, it, I guess like each year there's more and more talk. And I believe last year, like at the end of last year, it was like confirmed that Kristen Stewart had signed up 
to film a lesbian rom-com. I'm assuming for the end of this year or the end of next year. I don't know which one. But then recently we got um, news that, so Krista Stewart is in it as well. I believe her love interest will be played by Mackenzie Davis. So she is in Black Mirror in the uh, San Junipero episode. I love her. I really, really love her, honestly. I mean, I fell in love with her in that episode and then I watched Tully for her, which ugh, that would have been so much better if it was gay instead of what it ended up being. <laughs> but I'm also keen for her in Terminator. Oh my God, I've seen some pics of her in Terminator. Oh God, I'm weak for her. So I'm really, really excited that she's going to be in a queer holiday rom-com with Kristen Stewart that, oh, I'm getting excited. Like the actual premise of the movie does not sound great, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like it's, it's like, um, a, a, a queer couple, a lesbian couple, um, one of them's going to propose during the holidays, but turns out the other one's not out to their family. And so it's like a whole, I guess, coming out storyline. And I'm, I'm not too keen on that storyline, to be honest. Like, I don't know, but it's Kristen Stewart and Mackenzie Davis. So I'm going to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, I will let you guys know on more details when I know I, when it's coming out, all sorts of stuff, like when that, that sort of information is released. Um, but I think that's about it for that movie so far. Next, I want to talk about uh, a TV show Siren, which uh, second season started up last week. First season was really good. I really liked the first season um, and I watched it sort of like regularly when it was coming out and I definitely shipped like the three main characters. <laughs> you guys know I am whipped for my OT3s. I, why have a love triangle when you can have an OT3? <laughs> but honestly, I was like, it was Rin, Maddie and Ben. So um, Maddie and Ben are already a couple and then Rin comes along and sort of like <laughs> disrupts the whole town as well as like their relationship a little bit. Um, and I was totally shipping them from the get go. I was like, there's so much chemistry like between all three of them, but never did I think it was actually going to happen because like it's on like, I guess like, you know, a semi major TV station, like, like it's on free form. Right. Um, which honestly, if, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen on that station. So I was like, I don't know if it will happen because it's on like, you know, semi-major TV station as opposed to, you know, like a show like You, Me, Her, which is on Lifetime or something. I don't even know what the station is called that it's on. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was like, I don't know if it will actually ever happen, but I'm here for it. I'm shipping it. But it was actually confirmed that they are going ahead with a polyamorous relationship in season two with Rin, Maddie and Ben. And I'm... <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> I really hope they do it well. Like, I really hope they don't just be like, oh yeah, we're exploring it. But then they just, you know, be like, oh, no, it didn't work. We're going back to, you know, just couples. Oh, I just, I want it. I want them to do it well. And I just, oh God, if they do it well, this show is going to be everything. Like, it's a good show. Like, it's a good sort of like, sci-fi show, like fantasy show, but if they get an OT3 in it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be whipped for the show. <laughs> so if you guys want to go check it out, catch up on season one if you haven't. It's a good show. Um, season two. So the first episode is out of season two. Um, yeah, go check it out. And the last thing that I want to talk about is a movie that's coming up. <laughs> it's the Barbie movie. <laughs> I would, never thought I would talk about the Barbie movie on my channel before, let alone in real life. Um, so let's get into this. <laughs> I'm going to put this out off the bat. I don't know how much of this is actually true, to be honest. Like I saw a lot of tweets, not a lot of like articles from like actual mainstream sources or whatever. So I, I don't know if it's true, but... I'm going to give you guys the rumors that I heard anyway. So I believe it is confirmed that Margot Robbie is actually going to be starring in the upcoming live action Barbie movie. Um, I don't think there has been any confirmation on who she's actually playing. I don't know anything about the movie, to be honest. Like, I don't know if there's just one Barbie. 
or multiple Barbies? I don't know. <laughs> so we don't actually know who Margot Robbie is playing. Um, we don't know if she's going to be the lead. I honestly, I would assume so, but I also, I don't know. <laughs> but there were like quite a few tweets that were going around this past weekend, I believe it was, um, being like Margot, it confirmed Margot Robbie's character in the upcoming Barbie movie um, is going to be queer. So that's a thing. Like I said, I haven't seen a any actual like legitimate news sources like like posting articles about this. I've just seen tweets. Like all these tweets didn't actually link to anything. It was just tweets. So like I said, I don't know how legitimate these claims are, but I hope they are because, you know, Margot Robbie playing a queer character, I'm here for it every day of the week. Um, so that's just what I've heard over the weekend. Um, I will keep you guys up to date if I hear any more on this. Um, yeah, it's... A curious story. <laughs> but in other Margot Robbie news, uh, we have um, seen that uh, sh they have like sort of officially started filming uh, Birds of Prey. So we've been getting some sort of like behind the scenes pictures of her, um, which has been cool. I'm excited to see the Birds of Prey movie. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. But I think that's about it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon sponsors. We got Marissa, Corey, and Kathy. You guys are incredible and it helped me do what I do. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay.